Hi and welcome. So let's be honest here. Until now, we faked it. Our sign-up feature is just an illusion. Nothing is saved on the server. And in this episode, we'll fix it. I'm a big fan of SQL databases and PostgreSQL in particular. There are lots of Node.js related tutorials that use MongoDB, so we'll be different here in this regard and use PostgreSQL instead. So you need to install it first. If you're on Mac, you can install it via Homebrew with brew install PostgreSQL or from official website. I have Homebrew version installed with no additional settings or changes. So first, let's create the database for our project with, with command create db and we call it red dice. We're going to use knax, knax, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so this knax library to handle migrations and seed data. So let's install it locally and globally with npm install save knax. Okay, and npm install globally knax. So now that we have this library installed, we need to initialize it. We do it with knax in it. And then we'll just create the knax file.js. So let's open it up. So here we have this development section and staging section. And let's remove everything from development. And I'm going to copy and paste staging because it uses PostgreSQL. And the database is red dice. The user is rem and password is empty. And this is just the homebrew install. The default username is the username you are logged in into your computer and password is empty. Right. Okay, let's save it. And now let's install with npm install save pg driver for PostgreSQL. So now we're ready to create our first migration for users table. So we use knax migrate make users. That creates migration file. So let's open it up migration users and it has two functions both of these functions need to return promise which will be returned with from knax schema and here in the app we want to create table which is called users and we have the callback function that returns table and inside of this function we're going to define our fields and in down we want to return knax schema drop table users so now here we are ready to define our table fields. So we'll have table and the first one is ID and that's going to be increments. And let's create the ID by default with increment and ability and with index and integer, etc. So now we need to define four fields that we have in our user. All of these fields are strings. So we have string for username. And all of these fields are actually not nullable. And that's just another way to say that they are required. And also username is unique. And we want to do the same thing with email. Also we'll have time zone. It is nullable, but not unique. And the same thing goes for password. But of course we do not have password, we have password digest. So encrypted version of our password. And the last thing that we want to add maybe it's usually useful is timestamps. It creates created at and updated at fields on your table. So let's save it. And now let's run this migration with knacks migrate latest. Okay, now we have our table. And by the way, you can just run knacks to see all the options, all the things that you can do with this uh, library. So now we need a way to save the user into the database. And we'll use Bookshelf GS for our ORM purposes to make things simpler. So let's install it. npm install save Bookshelf. And Bookshelf works on top of Knax. It uses Knax. Uh, so let's initialize it. Let's create in server folder. We're going to create new file. We call it Bookshelf. And that's going to be our bookshelf initialization. So first of all, we import uh, knax from knax and we import bookshelf from bookshelf. And we also want to import knax config from knax file. And then we initialize bookshelf and we want to export default initialize bookshelf. So we use bookshelf and it takes knax instance, which is initialized with knax config and we take development section from it. 
So now we have bookshelf and now we have everything we need to save user. So let's go to our route users file. And here where we have this is valid, we're going to create user. And the first thing that we need to do actually is we need to encrypt password because we of course never ever store passwords in database. So we need to encrypt it and we'll use bcrypt for that. So let's install npm install save bcrypt. And now going back to our route, first let's uh, import bcrypt from bcrypt. And also we're gonna import our model user from models user. Okay, so we need to have a model. So let's define one. We create models folder and inside of it user.js file. And to define model, again, with bookshelf, it's very easy. We'll input bookshelf, but not from the package, but we input actually initialized bookshelf from our bookshelf file. And then we export default bookshelf.model.extend and we specify what table we're gonna use with table name option users, like this. So now back to our route, we have bcrypt, we have user, we have everything that we need. So now we can actually save at last the user in the database. So first, let's deconstruct variables from our body. So we have username, we have password, time zone, and email. We deconstruct it from request body. Then we need to define password digest. And we'll use, of course, bcrypt for that and use hash sync function. So this is the synchronous function just to make it easier. So we pass, we pass password and option for salt to be 10, that's a good option. So now we have everything that we need. Now we can use our user model to forge this object. And we pass username, time zone, email, and password digest. The second parameter, we can specify some options. And one of these options is has timestamps and set it to true. So this way it automatically populates timestamps with current date. And after that, we just save it. So and save returns promise. So we can have our then, which takes user, but it doesn't matter because with response, we just have this JSON success true. And on catch, if something goes wrong, we'll have error and we respond with status 500 and JSON error to be error. And that's it. So we have bookshelf model, we import it, then we get all the data. So we validate data first, then we get all the data, then we hash password, then we create user model and we save it. And then we process the result. If everything's okay, we respond with 200 status and JSON response. And we, if something goes wrong, we'll have 500 with error. So let's try it out in the browser. So I filled up the form, I sign up. Everything's good, I have the sign up successfully. So let's go back to terminal and let's log into Postgres with PSQL command and we specify what database we want to sign in. So we have in a red dice right now. I specify slash x auto option just to have pretty table rendering. And then I have this select all from users. And here we go. We have our user with password digest, with timestamps. Everything works perfectly fine. So we've done here. So let's commit. Saves user in the database. Thanks for your time, and if you found this episode useful, please share it with your friends. To get updates about new episodes, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter. And of course, you can always ask any questions you have on an associated blog post. All links are in the description. Take care, and see you later.